Good day to you, honored Romans. Have you need of food or medicine? Good to see you again. Any news about our agreement? Oh, this is a clever ploy. I didn't expect this at all. Very good. Yes, I believe I can ensure this letter makes its way to him. You plan to kill him there? I recommend you make up your mind before you confront him there. Best not to let him exploit your hesitation and gain the upper hand. Theopilus will get this letter from Mithridatis. I trust you will take it from there. You! What is going on here? I did not expect such low deception from a Roman. What do you want? Surely you have not lured me out here just to kill me. You can keep your life, traitor. But nothing else beside it. Curse you, woman! I should have known you were behind this all along. Do you not understand that everything I've done was to ensure the safety and prosperity of Musia? My husband was not perfect, but he was a good man and a wise ruler. Please, Roman, you have been manipulated. Maro was utterly indifferent to the needs or wishes of the people. He governed only to enrich himself and his closest friends. It wasn't some crime of personal greed. What I did was supported by our peers. The alternative was the deaths of thousands and the destruction of our city. Do you think what you did was right just because you surrounded yourself with more cowards? None of us wanted this war. My only wish is to protect my people. I can make this happen. 
by Apollo and Alexicacos, with Rome fighting beside us, we will drive Pontus from our lands. You can't! I demand justice for my husband! He's only saying these things because you have a knife to his throat! He'll turn on you just as he turned on us! You are not the rightful ruler of Musia Zenobia. No more than I was. What you've done here today will be visited upon you tenfold when the war is over. If I can save Musia from the wrath of Rome and restore us to law and order, I will gladly accept any punishment for what I've had to do to achieve it. Please meet me back at the temple, Stratigos. We have one more matter to deal with. You must be out on important business to be walking about so late. My stall is still open if you need food or medicine. I suffer from insomnia. It is better to spend my night reorganizing my wares than to lie awake in bed. It's good to see you again. What do you... Quiet. What if I told you I could get you into King Mithridates' camp? Utterly unnoticed. I knew you would see the possibilities at once. I just need you to do one small thing while you are there. Theopilus made a terrible pact with Mithridates. Musia was promised rulership over Troas after the war. The agreement was made in writing. If Troas ever learns of this... Well... I believe another war will tear us apart. Precisely. I know of a small group of Pontic scouts camped nearby. If you take them by surprise, you should be able to use their uniforms to disguise yourself. That way you and perhaps one of your most trusted people can sneak into Mithridates' main camp. Not a bad plan, if I'm being honest. Bold. But the best spycraft always is. It would be kept either in the king's personal tent or with his scribe. And I have inherited the consequences of his decisions. The contract is made on our city's behalf, and I will be held to account for it. Isn't it obvious? An up-close look at Mithridates' forces. A first-hand headcount. You may even catch a glimpse of the king himself. Only stay your hand if you do so. An assassination attempt would be ill-advised in those surroundings. Mithridates is known as an excellent general. 
He's the first of Rome's enemies in a long time to truly threaten the peace of the Republic. Until you destroy that contract, I cannot risk withdrawing Musia from the siege of Kitsikos. Hello again. Good day. Highly defensible position, but we have the element of surprise. Let's make sure we use it well. They seem totally oblivious. What is the point of erecting watchtowers if you do not post a lookout?
strength. Come on, this way. I'll hold you back. Wait here for the enemy to come. so bad.
here. They must fight on our turn. It is not so bad. Defensive formation, slow and steady.
snap out of it! Messed up badly. This is it. This is how it ends.
Please, don't kill me. I'll tell you everything. There is. The sentry will ask, has your journey been long? You must answer, we have many more miles to cover towards Rome. Cheeky bastards. What? But... Fine. Take it. Just spare me. We can't spare this man. If anyone learns of this, Mithridates' camp will be on high alert. I won't tell anyone. I promise.
like you better in Roman armor. But the uniform fits you, at least. <laughs> you sound like the boys back home. They said Mithridates had 300,000 men. Seeing this, I believe it. If not, we'll find out soon enough. Sorry, we'll be fine. Just let me handle the sentries. Oh there, scouts. Has your journey been long? Welcome back. You look like you need a rest. All right then, in you go. My aunt's family lives in Kizikos, you know. It feels weird to sit out here waiting for them to starve. Three campaigns I fought for him. He was the best commander I've ever served under. Do you believe the rumors? I heard Archelaus was defeated by a Roman legatus with no experience leading an army. I saw it with my own eyes. I barely got out of Mytilene alive. I have no power to overrule an Imperator. You know that. I only need you to discredit the campaign of Licinius Lucullus. You made it impossible for me to turn the Senate when you cornered Marcus Aurelius Cotta. Rome will not leave one of their own behind, least of all a consul. Hmm. As long as he is safe and sound inside the walls of Galgedon, they still believe he can be rescued. Then we must take the city and secure him as hostage. One thing at a time. I heard rumors that Troas and Musia are on the cusp of leaving your alliance. Impossible. I have contingencies to ensure their loyalty. I hope you're right. Without them, your siege on Kitzikos is lost. My army outnumbers Lucullus's legions 25 times. Don't underestimate him. That is the mistake Archelaus made. Keep the supplies flowing, Skyavola. That's all I need from you. I will take Kitsikos and Kalkedon, and you will reap the rewards. Corvinus will see to it personally. He is among my best men. My services are yours as long as the Senator commands, Your Majesty. Very good. Safe journey home, Senator. Oh, I'm not going home. My brother is handling things just fine in Rome. I'm going to see a mutual friend in Thrakia. Ah, yes. Give him my regards. I shall. Good day, Your Majesty.
Soldier, tell me, what news from the outskirts of the war? Hmm. They understand they are outnumbered. Loculus is hatching some plan to turn it to his advantage, no doubt. Your accent. You sound Roman. I see. Why did you join my war? That she does not. But nor does she belong to Pontus. Bithynia is caught between two mighty nations, and she will go to the mightiest. That is the way of the world. The Roman senator, Tiberius Vitellius Scaevola. He has vested business interests in this region, and he is a good friend of Pontus. You are uncommonly well informed. Best not speak too openly of such matters. They are a stubborn people, or else they would have succumbed like Musia and Troas. It's a well-fortified city. They will not hold out for long unless our enemy finds a way to relieve them. We must ensure that doesn't happen. He is a formidable commander, and very well cultured for a Roman. He is known as a lover of Hellenic culture, and he is the ruler of a mighty nation, but he is no Cornelius Sulla. This time, Pontus will prevail. So say the reports, the new legatus of the second of Loculus' legions. Soon, he will decorate a cross along the road to Rome. Mark my words, Archelaus was the finest general of his generation. And he was a dear friend. I encourage my soldiers to voice their opinions. Thank you for sharing your thoughts on this war with me today. Now, be about your business. We won't get an opportunity like this again, so let's make sure we've made the most of it before we leave. Did you get that in Mytilene? I'll send Acacia to your tent to dress it tonight. If you leave it unattended, it'll fester. Did you see the Roman talking to the king? I was out front when he arrived. Why is a Roman senator dealing with the king? Uh, that's none of our business.
terminate. Stratigos, do you bring any news? Let's have a look. Ah, a cruel backhanded agreement between two equally power-hungry men. Thank you. This document will shortly burn on one of these braziers. With Apollon's help, no one but us will ever know of its existence. Your virtuous deed will not go unrewarded. Our troops will withdraw from the siege of Kitsikos today. Without us, Troas will leave as well. I am certain that Mithridates will be forced to abandon the siege. You will always be welcome in Mersia as long as I am ruler. cloth is really soft. Where did you buy it? Some trader sold it to me. He came from the east. Where is he? He left again after the Romans arrived. It's good to see you again. What do you seek? Oh! Oh, le let me see. This is most remarkable. This outcropping at the end, and the markings here. I believe that what you hold in your hands is nothing less than the blade of the legendary sword, Harpe. It once belonged to the great hero, Perseus. He was said to be descended from the titan, Cronus. And with this weapon, he slew Medusa, the Gorgon. What its powers are, or even if it has any, I cannot say. But I do believe this was used by Perseus. That alone makes it a unique and valuable relic. I cannot. I am unworthy of such a task. You must find a smith with a full lifetime of experience to restore this weapon to its former glory. However, I will be most pleased to show you how it was originally shaped. Here, let me draw you the schematics. 
Good day to you, honored Romans. Have you need of food or medicine? It was you who got rid of Theophilos, isn't it? I always liked Zenobia. I will give you a discount. Good day. Where are the rest of the priests? They left a week ago. Said they would go north. Why? It's cold up there. They prefer the cold to the war. Hello again. Oh, wait. 